Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price because we have seen a nice run up into the $41,000 area. Then of course we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the US dollar index and Nasdaq. So this video is brought to you by Bybit. This is the number one trading exchange if you want to trade all the cryptos that you want and of course also earn some passive income, then Bybit is the place for you. If you sign up with the link in the video description, you will get some extra bonus with the first deposit. So definitely check out Bybit. And now my friends, let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because after this nice run up, we have here the chance to see a nice continuation towards the main resistance of around $44,500 before Bitcoin can reach again uh, targets between 50 to 60K. The problem here on the four hour time frame is of course that at the moment we are quite overbought and I have closed already several long positions since we already got a sell signal in the three hour time frame and also here in the immediate short term we have a decrease in money flow. In the four hour time frame we still have positive money flow but it's slightly decreasing and that's why I think that a potential pullback is in the cards which will lead in my opinion towards uh, a new higher low. So far we are still creating lower highs which of course is bearish but if we come back down here and get supported at around 40k so where we have the EMA ribbons and also the 20 moving average in the 4 hour time frame we should have here a higher low compared to the previous lows that we had and afterwards maybe have that run up to finally break out here higher so above 41 to 42k and attack again the main resistance at $44,500. So even though this uh, bullish uh, pump that we have seen yesterday, my opinion is sustainable. I think that on the way towards $44,500, we are going to see some little pullbacks and are definitely gonna uh, open up some new longs. I didn't close all of them. Most of them are closed, but I'm looking for new long entries right now, especially with the next the buy signal because I am trading usually the three hour Time frame, and I think that if we're coming back down to retest the $40,000, maybe even $39,500, uh, there we should get a very good uh, entry point for the next uh, long opportunity because uh, overall I'm still expecting here a bullish resolution. So the lower time frames like the four hour is a bit overbought so a little pullback is possible if it's going to happen take it as a good long opportunity and buy opportunity because I'm pretty confident that very very soon we are about to push higher. And another reason why I think that a little pullback today is uh, in the cards is also because here in the daily time frame you can see that yesterday we successfully pushed above the median line of the Keltner channels, currently at around $39,900. So since we had now this daily close above it, I think that it's probable that we are coming back down to retest it as a support. So we must hold the median line of the Keltner channels in order to start an uptrend here, because in that case, the trading range would be here between the median line at around 40K and the top of the Keltner channels, currently right at the main resistance at $44,200. You can see that the last time that we came back down to retest the median line, we always failed to hold it as a support and afterwards we immediately crashed below. And that's why it's going to be very important that if we're coming back down in the next coming hours towards the $39,900 area, that we are also able to maintain the daily closes above it. Otherwise, this could just end up in something like we also have seen in the last couple of days and weeks where we just had this huge pump into the main resistance and then immediately came down. So important for Bitcoin is now to hold this median line of the Keltner channel, so the 40k area must hold as a support, then I'm expecting continuation towards the main resistance and probably even break higher, because don't forget that we are still in this ascending triangle, a very bullish reversal pattern, and if we zoom out even more, you can see that Bitcoin very long time ago broke already out to the upside from this bigger falling wedge, and in theory the target would be at around $69,000. I know that right now it looks impossible, but in the crypto market, every Everything is possible and you should expect everything and that's why if here we are going to see a bullish resolution out of this ascending triangle I think that we most likely are having then that run up and uh, uh, gonna meet the target of this ascending triangle at around 56k and probably even push higher. So the daily time frame is starting again to look more bullish important is that we are going to keep up with the 40k 
daily closes, uh, so the median line of the Kalten channels. Otherwise, it's likely that we are coming back down to retest the main support currently at around $38,500. And if we have a look here into the weekly time frame, you can see that money flow is still increasing. The problem is that the RSI is still below the 50 level. So I want to see the RSI trading back above the 50 level, same like we are seeing it right now over in the daily time frame. Here you can see that the RSI is back above the 50 level and that of course is a bullish sign. So this is what I want to see here also in the weekly time frame for Bitcoin. And here again, you can see now in these uh, white lines, this bigger channel that we are forming here in the lines chart. So here you can see that we are perfectly holding the support down here. We have all the weekly closes above this uh, white line currently at around $37,500. And we have the main resistance up here at around $69,000. So a run up out of this ascending triangle will take us straight towards the top of the Kelton's channels in the weekly time frame. This is where I'm expecting a potential lower high if we're really in a bear market. But if we're able to have daily and weekly closes above it, then I think that a nice run up into $69,000 is very likely. And then we're going to see if we're strong enough to push higher or if here we're getting again rejected and come all the way back down towards the support again. That is a possible so as long as we are not seeing a breakout to the downside or to the upside uh, from those two white lines, this is the trading range now for Bitcoin between $37,500 and $69,000. And since we are right at the bottom here, right at the main support, and we are very oversold, and we got now two buy signals in the weekly time frame, I'm expecting something similar like this. When we also the last time had a huge buy signal in very oversold condition, we had that nice run up into that main resistance up here, right at the top of the Kelton channels in the weekly time frame. So that's why I'm expecting here a bullish resolution. And I think that 56K is very, very likely. The question is only if we are then also strong enough to push even up towards the $69,000 area. And wherever Bitcoin is going, of course, also Ethereum will follow. Currently, also Ethereum is pushing above the median line of the Kelton channels in the daily time frame. So everything is going to be depending what Bitcoin is doing. But for Ethereum here, it's important that we are holding now $2,680 in the daily time frame. So we should see daily closes above it. Then also here, a nice run up into the top of the Kelton channels towards 3K is possible. And then probably also push higher if Bitcoin is able uh, to reach that 56k area and in that case uh, the target here for ethereum would be right here at around three thousand four hundred dollars where we have the 20 weekly moving average and if we're strong enough uh, to push even higher then maybe we could even reach a uh, four thousand two hundred dollars the top of the Kelton channels in the weekly time frame uh, for ethereum because also here we are very oversold and also here we got two buy signals in the weekly time frame already and if we have a look now into Nasdaq, then we can start to be again more bullish, my friends, because also here for Nasdaq, we had same like over in the crypto market, a daily close above the median line of the Keltner channels. So if we can maintain now the daily closes above $13,850, then this would be the trading range between this support and the top of the Keltner channels in the daily time frame at $14,760. And that of course could be a huge reversal here for Nasdaq. And uh, here you can see that we are about to get a buy signal. So as soon as here we're getting a buy signal right here at the bottom of the Keltner channels in the weekly time frame, and where we have the 100 weekly moving average, a nice reversal at least to retest the median line at $14,750 and maybe even see a run up towards the top of the Kelton channels at $16,300 could of course lead also into a nice rally for the crypto market. So Nasdaq is looking like that is starting a big reversal here very, very soon, especially if we're able now to keep the support here at around $13,800, then I'm pretty confident that in the next coming days and weeks, we are going to see nice continuations to the upside. And if Nasdaq is starting a big reversal and is pumping like crazy, then of course we are going to see the same thing over in the crypto market as well. And while the crypto and stock market is potentially starting a reversal and an uptrend again, uh, we are seeing exactly the opposite right now over on the DXY. Yesterday we had that daily close below the nine daily moving average. And this of course is now initiating uh, a nice drop down towards the median line of the Keltner channels. And uh, if we're not holding it, then be prepared that here the DXY could start a long consolidation phase or even come back down towards the main support. And that will be very much in favor for a nice rally for the crypto and stock market. I told you that the DXY up here is very overbought and the pullback or even corrective phase is about 
to come and that of course will lead into the opposite for the crypto and stock market since most of the times we are inverse correlated so in the immediate short term i'm expecting here a little pullback i also announced yesterday over on twitter when i closed all my longs for bitcoin and ethereum i have some small positions uh, left but uh, i'm gonna definitely open up the big ones so once we're getting another buy signal here in the three hour and four hour uh, time frame because afterwards i'm expecting big continuations to the upside so let's see what is going on today i think that a little pullback is in the cards not necessarily but probably it's going to happen but take it as a long opportunity especially if you missed out too long the bottom down here at around 38 to 39k because i think in the next coming days and weeks we are going to see some bullish pushes towards our bullish targets so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos check out all the referral links that you find in the video description because with all of them you will get some extra bonus and don't forget to follow me also in my other social media platforms like discord twitter instagram and so on thank you again very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye